Thanks for watching Young Money. Be sure and comment below with your financial questions and I'll feature them in next week's episode. Here's this week's. It's March Madness. Now we may not all go on to make nine figure salaries like some of the players, but when it comes to finances, the same rules still apply. Here are the worst financial mistakes for athletes and how you can be a baller on a budget. The Players Association disputes the number, but it's been widely reported that 60% of NBA players file for bankruptcy five years after retirement. What happened? They spent like they'd continue making that kind of money forever. Things may be going smoothly now, but what would happen if you got laid off or you got hit with a major expense like a car repair? So make sure you're setting aside savings, especially if you're making good money now. Pay on time, pay down debt, and start saving. The big clock stopper, living beyond your means. 52% of Americans are spending more than they earn. Don't just consider your income, look at your net worth, your savings plus your earnings and also what you owe. That'll give you a full picture of your finances. Don't try to go and make a slam dunk by making risky investments. Teams can't just depend on one player to win. The more diversified that you are, the better the chance that you'll end up with a winning record down the stretch.